Good day everyone, this is Aspirine Albay II, a first year MAED educational management student at Nidawar in Tal State University. I am currently enrolled in EDM 224 with Dr. Josilito Gaita as the instructor. I am tasked to report about uh, Lesson 4, Policy Guidelines on Classroom Assessment for K-12 Basic Education Program, Dep Ed Order Number 8, Series of 2015. This is under Module 3A, Designing Instruction in the Different Learning Delivery Modalities, such as Learning Exemplars, Weekly Home Learning Plan, and Individual Monitoring Plan. At the end of the topic, you will be able to 1. Define what is classroom assessment 2. Identify the two types of classroom assessment 3. Identify what are the learning standards in classroom assessment 4. Know how learners assessed in the classroom and number 5. Define what is grading system In line with the implementation of the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013, RA number 10533, the Department of Education is adopting the Enhanced Policy Guidelines on Classroom Assessment for K-12 Basic Education Program. 1. Theoretical Basis Classroom assessment is a joint process that involves both teachers and learners. It is an integral part of communication. It allows the teachers to track and measure learners' progress and to adjust instruction accordingly. Classroom assessment informs the learners as well as their parents and guardians of their progress. Teachers provide appropriate assessment when they aim to holistically measure learners' current and developing abilities while enabling them to take responsibility in the process. This view recognizes the diversity of learners inside the classroom, the need for multiple ways of measuring their varying abilities and learning potentials, and the role of learners as co-participants in the assessment process. 2. What is classroom assessment? Assessment is a process that, that is used to keep track of learners' progress in relation to learning standards and in the development of 21st century skills to promote self-reflection and personal accountability among students about their own learning and to provide basis for the profiling of student performance on the learning competencies and standards of the curriculum. Classroom assessment is an ongoing process of identifying, gathering, organizing, and interpreting quantitative and qualitative information of what learners know and can do. Teachers should employ classroom assessment methods that are consistent with curriculum standards. It is important for teachers to always inform learners about the objectives of the lesson so that the latter will aim to meet or even exceed the standards. The teacher provides immediate feedback to students about their learning progress. Classroom assessment also measures the achievement of competencies by the learners. There are two types of classroom assessment, formative and summative. A. Formative assessment may be seen as assessment for learning so teachers can make adjustments in their instruction. It is also assessment as learning wherein students reflect on their own progress. Formative assessment may be given at any time during the teaching and learning process. It is also a way to check the effectiveness of instruction. B. Summative assessment, on the other hand, may be seen as assessment of learning, which occurs at the end of particular unit. This form of assessment usually occurs toward the end of a period of learning in order to describe the standard reached by the learner. 4. What is assessed in the classroom? Assessment in the classroom is aimed at helping students perform well in relation to the learning standards. Learning standards comprise content standards, performance standards, and learning competencies that are outlined in the curriculum. A. Content standards. Identify and set the essential knowledge and understanding that should be learned. They cover a specified scope of sequential topics within each learning strand, domain, theme, or component. Content standards answer the question, what should the learners know? B. Performance standards. Describe the abilities and skills that learners are expected to demonstrate in relation to the content standard and integration of 21st century skills. 
the integration of knowledge, understanding, and skills is expressed through creation, innovation, and adding value to products' performance during independent work or in collaboration with others. Performance standards answer the following questions. 1. What can learners do with what they know? 2. How well must learners do their work? 3. How well do learners use their learning or, or understanding in different situations? 4. How do learners apply their learning or understanding in real-life contexts? 5. What tools and measures should learners use to demonstrate what they know? E. Learning competencies refer to the knowledge, understanding, skills, and attitudes that students need to demonstrate in every lesson and or learning activity. D. Concept development. The learning standards in the curriculum reflect progressions of concept development. The cognitive process dimensions adopted from Anderson and Crathwall in 2001 may be a good way to conceptualize these progressions. To align the assessment process with the K-12 curriculum, the adapted cognitive process dimensions may be used as guide not only in lesson development but also in the formulation of assessment tasks and, and activities. 4. How are learners assessed in the classroom? Learners are assessed in the classroom through various processes and measures appropriate to and congruent with learning competencies defined in the K-12 curriculum. Learners may be assessed individually or collaboratively. Individual formative assessment enables the learner to demonstrate independently what has been learned or mastered through a range of activities such as check-up quizzes, written exercises, performances, models, and even electronic presentations. Collaboratively formative assessment or peer assessment allows students to support each other's learning. Discussions, role-playing, games, and other group activities may be also be used as performance-based formative assessment wherein learners support and extend each other's learning. Formative assessment in different parts of the lesson. Formative assessment may be integrated in all parts of the lesson. Basically, every lesson has three parts, before the lesson, the lesson proper, and after the lesson. Components of summative assessment. Summative assessments are classified into three components, namely written work, performance tasks, and quarterly assessment. These three will be the basis for grading. The nature of the learning area defines the way these three components are assessed. 5. What is the grading system? The K-12 basic education program uses uh, standards and competency-based grading system. These are found in the curriculum guides. All grades will be based on the weighted row score of the learner's summative assessments. The minimum grade needed to pass a, sp a specific learning area is 60, which is transmitted to 75 in the report card. The lowest mark that can appear on the report card is 60 for quarterly grades and final grades. E-Class Record The electronic class record from DepEd is an information software used by faculty members in different schools depending on their status of the students at present. ECR template can be downloaded for free for use by all public school teachers. That is my topic is all about. Thank you and God bless everyone.